Hey y'all and welcome to a three hour cleaning marathon. I'm Amy and today's video is jam packed with cleaning, decluttering, organizing, and even decorating for fall. Throughout the video, I'll also be sharing some of my favorite cleaning products and tips with you. I hope this video helps to keep you company while you're getting your cleaning done or even while you're doing all the other things on your to-do list throughout the day. Y'all let me know what you're up to while you're watching down in the comments and let's get this cleaning marathon started. Good morning, friends. I've got lots of cleaning, some grocery shopping to do. I'll share the haul with you. Restocking the refrigerator and pantry and just getting our house back in order. So come clean with me or just sit back and watch while you make your to-do list and get some cleaning motivation. Okay, we are gonna get this day started by just opening up the blinds. I'm gonna make the bed and just kind of tidy up in here and get some laundry started. These are just a few of those everyday cleaning tasks that kind of get me motivated to get started on my to-do list. These are things that have to be done pretty much every single day. And so I like to do these first, so I'm motivated to keep going and tackle the rest of that to-do list. Now let's get started on some laundry. As you can see, this hamper is pretty full. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a load started. Last week, I shared in our video how I reorganized here in the laundry room. I did a whole deep cleaning of the laundry room and then I reorganized all of our laundry products. So if you missed that video, be sure to go check it out. And I will have a link to all of those laundry organization products and things in the description box below but I am absolutely loving this setup here in the laundry room. I just have all my products right here in a row. I can just kind of go through my routine. Now there are some things that I use differently that are up in the cabinets depending on what kind of clothes or what kind of load I'm doing, um, but this is working out so great. Plus it smells amazing right when you walk into the back door because I have all of these products right here on the countertop versus just up in our cabinets. Okay, now I'm just showing you guys the mess before I get started in here. You can see our house is very lived in. Our kids are on summer break still. Lots of toys everywhere. Lots of food and um, just dishes, all the things. So I am getting ready to go ahead and tidy up in here. I'm going to start in the living room. And then I did have Gracie June come and at least put all of her toys in her little basket and take those upstairs. But for the rest of the stuff, I'm just going to kind of tidy up myself. Yeah. Here's my little helper picking up the mess that she made. She has been loving those little pet shop toys lately, and so she keeps pulling them downstairs. For some reason, I guess if we're all downstairs, she wants to play down here too and not just up in her playroom, but she's been pulling those down here. But luckily, we have an easy way to just pick everything up. We just throw it all in this little basket, and then she can easily take it up and down the stairs. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but she does have a little boot on her leg, so I'm sure, or her foot, so I'm sure I'll get questions. Um, she went down a water slide and kind of pushed her toe back. So they thought that she could have a possible fracture, but then we, the x-rays didn't show anything. So we had to go back in a week later after wearing the boot for a week 
and it was totally fine. She wasn't feeling any more pain in her foot, and there was no sign of a fracture on the x-rays. So luckily, she just probably had like a sprain or a, you know, a pulled tendon or something like that that just healed really quickly. Um, So she's out of the boot and all good to go back at cheerleading and doing all the tumbling with no pain at all. All right, and as you can see, I've moved into the kitchen. I'm just getting all the countertops and everything cleared off first, putting things where they belong, putting the dishes at the sink, so that way I can actually get a load of dishes started in the dishwasher. Usually I run our dishwasher at night, but we forgot to run it the night before, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this load started and wash a few dishes by hand. Now, if you're already feeling motivated or just enjoying this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And if you're new here, then welcome. I'm so glad that you found my channel. My name is Amy Darley, and I have been making these types of videos for about four years now. I absolutely love cleaning and organizing and sharing all the tips and tricks with you guys. And then, of course, getting all of your tips and tricks as well because you guys are always amazing and teach me lots of things too. So if you're new here and you enjoy hanging out with me for today's video, I would love it if you would subscribe and introduce yourself down in the comments as well so that way we can all get to know you. After I was done with the dishes, I put a pause in the cleaning for just a little bit so me and the kids could run out and pick up our Walmart grocery order. So we got back and I just threw all of the stuff in the fridge and in the pantry just really quickly because, you know, all the cold stuff needed to be put away. But I will give you guys a grocery haul a little bit later in the video. First, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start cleaning out our refrigerator and restocking all the groceries in here. Now I'm trying
I'm feeling down, I don't know why, what an alibi. So I know my refrigerator isn't too, too messy, but that's because every week or every few weeks, I like to pull everything out and just kind of wipe it down so that way it doesn't get too bad. Sometimes we have a lot of spills and other things that just like vegetables can get kind of gross in here if we have those in the drawer. Um, but for the most part, the fridge does not get too, too messy. Um, but I like to go ahead and do all the shelves first and then I'll move to the drawers and clean those out. And then I don't clean out my condiments. Uh, what are those things? Shelves. I don't clean those out as much as the others. So usually I go through that at least once a month. So this is the last drawer and yes, we have lots of cheese. I feel like we're always doing recipes with different cheeses and stuff. So we have a bunch, but the refrigerator's all nice and cleaned out and I have room up there on the top for any leftovers for the week. And it feels so good to have this all clean and stocked up. Slow it down. Slow it down. I'm going to move on to cleaning the stove top. It's not too bad. We cooked some eggs, so I think we have some crumbs and stuff from that this morning. So I'm going to vacuum that up, and then I'm just going to use that same probiotic multi-surface spray by Mrs. Myers to wipe this down and then move on to putting up the rest of the dishes and cleaning off the countertops. Now here in this shot, you can see I actually have my crock pot working. I have dinner in the crock pot. I actually did this right before I started cleaning out the refrigerator and I actually shared that um, recipe in last week's video. It was a three or it was a cheese tortellini lasagna all in the crock pot. It was so easy, so delicious. I actually used ground beef, but you could also use chicken, which I think I will probably try that one out next time. But if you didn't see that recipe, go check it out. It's in my last video. It is so delicious. And I always love a good crock pot recipe, especially during the week when we have all kinds of things going on and it's just super busy. You find it distracting. Hold of our issues. Rather die with you. We no longer talk.
try and try too hard Nothing's ever enough Even if I try and try too hard Tell me what to do, say anything All right, so I'm almost done here in the kitchen and then I'm gonna show you a grocery haul really quick. But the last thing I'm gonna do is wipe down our wood countertops. I did end up vacuuming. I did a really quick vacuum right after this, but I didn't share that part because later in the video, you're gonna see me vacuuming and mopping here all over the downstairs and I didn't want you to have to watch me do that twice. <laughs> All right, just got back from Walmart, so I have a little grocery haul to show you guys. So starting over here, we've got cinnamon rolls for Friday breakfast. We also have like in the freezer already, we've got some pancakes, we've got eggs and stuff that we can cook, So, and we've got cereal in the pantry. So this is just a Friday breakfast. We already had all the other stuff for this week. We also have some milk, some orange juice, almond milk, and then I put everything else kind of out by days of the week, what we're eating and in other categories. So we'll start right here for today. We're actually doing a tortellini lasagna in the crock pot, which I actually shared in last week's video. So check out that video if you want to see this whole recipe and everything. Um, so we've got, I've already got mozzarella cheese and I've also got another thing of this Italian style cheese blend in the fridge but we needed another one and I've also got Parmesan cheese in the fridge so um, I'll be sharing that I showed that in last week's video like I said but here I've got some Italian style cheese I already had one package of this in the fridge but it was about halfway gone so I needed some more of it but I've also got Parmesan cheese in the fridge for this recipe and then we've got two of these um, jars of roasted garlic Parmesan these are so cheap compared to most of the other brands. Now we love the Rowles, but they didn't have the roasted, what was it? Whatever their flavored one is, they didn't have any. So I went with this instead. Um, we've got three things of ground beef. Each of them are a pound. One is for this recipe. And then we've got some ricotta cheese and we've got some cheese tornellini. So this, with this meal, we decided to go with a garlic bread. Usually we do the Kohl's um, cheese filled breadsticks, but since this little recipe right here is gonna have so much cheese in it, I decided to forego those and do just some regular garlic bread with that. Moving on to Tuesday night, we are doing chicken fajitas. Actually, Chance and I are doing chicken fajitas and the kids are doing ground beef tacos. So one of these is for the beef tacos. We already have the hard shells for that and the regular ch um, shredded cheddar cheese. And then I'm gonna be making some fajitas in the crock pot. The chicken is already out in the freezer. We already had that. I got a huge thing from Costco and still haven't finished it. So we're using that chicken. I've got one onion, two bell peppers, and some salsa. And then um, actually our favorite salsa is from Publix, but they didn't have that brand. So this is all from Walmart. So I got this to go with this recipe. And like I said, I'm just doing all this in the crock pot and this is just for Chance and I and the kids will have regular tacos. Moving on to Wednesday, we've got some good old hamburger helper beef stroganoff. My kids love this stuff. I got the twin pack because we're planning on doing this for Wednesday night and Thursday night. So we'll have leftovers on Thursday, but I got this. And then I also got a Caesar salad kit to go with it. And of course we'll use some ground beef with this meal as well. All right, and then Friday we're having pizza, so we're not going to do anything for Friday night. Saturday night we have a little housewarming party to go to for a friend. So Sunday we're actually doing cube steak, which is already in our freezer. So I just got some sides to go with it. We're going to do some green beans, and we're going to make some mashed potatoes and gravy to go with that. All right, for desserts, nothing new here. We've got the Reese's Take Fives. They actually gave me, like, the regular size ones because they were out of the snack size ones so usually what I'll do is I'll just take one of these out and then eat one so 
um, cosmic brownies, of course. So that's nothing new. We've got some regular bread, and we were out of jelly, so got this for peanut butter and jellies for the kids. This has been like one of their go-to lunches this summer. Um, mozzarella sticks. Gracie June requested these. She said she wants to eat these with a lunch this week, so we'll probably do this and I don't know. What would go good with it? Maybe like pasta or something for lunch? I don't know. We'll see. But she wanted some mozzarella sticks, so I got those for her. We've got this Joseph's Lavish Flatbread. I actually got this because we made some chicken salad over the weekend and we still have a lot left over, so I'm going to make some little wraps with that. We've got turkey for turkey sandwiches. Um, the regular size Pringles can because they didn't have any of the snack size ones in the cheddar cheese, but I did get the um, sour cream and onion in the snack size. And the reason I do this is because once you pop, you just can't stop. <laughs> um, seriously, like my kids will eat the entire can of Pringles if they don't have like the snack size ones. So I get these, they only have one little snack size Pringles can with their lunch or as a snack or whatever it is. All right, and then I'm trying these little yogurts and this one is the peanut butter cup one. I bet this one's gonna be so good. It's probably gonna be my favorite. I haven't tried these before, um, but if y'all have, let me know your favorite flavors or combinations. But I see these all the time, so I was like, hmm, this would be a good snack for me and for the kids. So this one is the salted caramel crunch. Then we've got the cookie dough, and then the strawberry cheesecake. So that's that. And another dessert that I got are these Yasso bars. This is the fudge brownie, but I'm pretty sure these are already melted. So I don't know, maybe from now on I need to go in and actually get these because I did have to wait a while for my order. So I'm assuming that's why these are so mushy, but I'm gonna go stick these in the freezer real quick. Then I got some Oil of Olay body wash and I got a new mirror because my other one broke that I had and this one's a little bit bigger so I kind of like it but that's that. And then I forgot I got these so I got a 24 pack of Diet Dr. Peppers. Usually I cannot find them in the 24 pack anymore. Um, they're usually out so I was glad to see that. And then I got a few sparkling ice waters, the pink grapefruit and the black raspberry. These are two of our favorites so that is my little grocery haul for today okay guys it is the next day and I ran out of time so I didn't get to organize the pantry on the first day so I just kind of shoved all the new groceries here into the pantry along with all the other mess that's in here you can see it's just a disaster so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out as I'm gonna pull out just a few shelves at a time and organize a few shelves at a time so that way I'm just not making a huge mess in the kitchen and I also like to do it this way because sometimes I do run out of time or things happen and I have to run and go do do something or take the kids somewhere and I just didn't have time to you know organize the entire pantry at once and I don't want all this food just sitting out in my house. So the first thing I did was I went through a few of the shelves. I threw away anything that was expired or gross looking <laughs> and then I'm going to go through and keep the things that need to be kept and, you know, just restock and reorganize the whole pantry. Now, as I'm reorganizing and restocking, I would love for you guys to leave me a comment down below and let me know some of your family's favorite snacks. I'm kind of trying to search for some new snacks. I feel like my kids are getting tired of the same old snacks that we've been eating for years, like the goldfish and, you know, the um, crackers, all that kind of stuff. So I'm looking for some new snacks for my kids to try out. We like to shop at Walmart, Sam's, Costco, Kroger. So any of your favorite snacks, let me know what they are and where you shop for them at. We're soaring up high, got no clue. How do I know what I mean to you? Yeah. Say it out loud, spill the truth. Tell me how I'm gonna get close to you. Yeah. High and low, in between, acting out, make a scene. Working on our body like. Now, I did want to mention that all the little labels here on my containers 
I made for, with my Cricut Joy. I did the same thing with my labels in the laundry room last week, and that thing is amazing. I just love using that for all the labels on all the organization projects in my house. Um, but I also got all of these containers off of Amazon. So I'll find links for all of these and make sure to link those in the description box below in case you guys are looking for some really good, like sturdy containers to use in your pantry. All right, now we're moving into these big baskets. This is like all of our chips and pretzels, and we do have a big bag of Skinny Pop popcorn that hasn't even been opened yet. But it drives me nuts when I look in here because I do have this one basket with a bunch of like variety packs of chips, the smaller individual portion size chips. And then I have the bigger bags, which... A lot of times if I get the bigger bags of chips, I feel like my kids do not go through and eat all of them. Like they'll eat, they'll open it and eat it and then won't touch that big bag for another week or two and then they end up going stale. So I did end up throwing some food away and I feel bad because I feel like that's so wasteful, but maybe I just need to stick to getting the variety packs. It's just, you know, sometimes you can't find the good chips that you want in the variety packs or they have a lot of other flavors that you don't eat in the variety packs. So that's also wasteful to me. But anyways, we got it all organized. The pantry's all nice and clean and it feels so good. And it was funny because this made me feel really good. When Kaysen got home from practice, he opened the um, pantry and immediately he was like, hey, you organized the pantry. It looks so good in here. And I'm like, yay, you noticed. <laughs> Keep it that way. All right, guys, I'm about to move all this stuff out of here, but really quickly, I wanted to show you. I got a bunch of stuff in from Amazon. This was actually the Mrs. Myers box that all my cleaning products came in, so this one's empty. But I'm getting ready to organize my kitchen, a few different spaces in our kitchen, and I got some new items for that. And I wanted to share with y'all really quick, this is one for the drawers for like saran wrap and tin foil. This one is for storage bags, so all the Ziploc bags. We've got a utensil holder. Um, and then this one right here is a knife set holder so I can actually stick my knives in the drawer and not have them sitting on my countertop. And then a water bottle organizer. You guys wait till you see our cabinet with all the water bottles in it. It is a disaster. Um, and then I also got some new kitchen towels. These had really, really good reviews on Amazon and we were in need of, in need of some new ones because a bunch of ours are really old and gross and dingy. So I wanted to replace some of those. This is a chicken shredder. <laughs> Nothing to do with organization or cleaning, but um, you just stick your chicken in here after it's cooked and then you go back and forth and it shreds. Chance really wanted that, so I ordered it with all this stuff. Um, but I'm gonna be doing the kitchen organization in a video really soon. It's not gonna be next week's video, but I'm thinking it's gonna be the one after that. So stay tuned for that. And like I said, I got all this stuff off of Amazon. Um, I also, random, but I also got a new curling iron. Mine was falling apart, and this is the exact same curling iron I had before. I thought about getting a different brand, but I loved mine so much. And then this one had over 20,000 reviews on Amazon, and I was like, you know what? Compared to the other ones, this one had the best reviews, and I already knew I loved it, so why get something new if you already know you love something? So got the exact same curling, I had, curling iron I had before, it's just the other one I had so long that it finally broke, but got that. And then a few other things. We're about to do a birthday party for Gracie June's ninth birthday, and we're doing a little sleepover. So I got a few decorations and new sheets and things like that because we are going to do the blow-up mattresses up in the playroom. But I'm going to share all that stuff. That is probably going to be next week's video because... We'll be doing the party and everything. I'm going to share with you all the cleaning, all the decorating, all that good stuff. So I'll share that. And then I also got some cute little outfits for Gracie June. Um, I mainly got some of these because I wanted to put some 
um, heat transfer vinyl on the front. There are a few shirts in here, but all of these are from Sheen. While I was looking on there, I got you know a couple of rompers and things like that. But I'm about to go put all of this stuff away until I'm ready to pull it out and use it. But y'all be on the lookout for the birthday decorating video and then also kitchen organization video. To the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. All right, so today I switched it up and I'm actually using the lavender scent in the probiotic multi-surface cleaner. And it smells so good, you guys. I can't wait for y'all to try these products out and let me know what you think of them. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late. Okay, now that that area is clean, the entire downstairs is clean, I'm gonna go ahead and do the floors. And so I'm using the Tenco iFloor 2. My robot vacuum has actually already gone off today, so the rugs are vacuumed, but I do need to clean the floors, the hardwood floors. So like I said, I'm using my Tenco iFloor 2 and it actually vacuums and mops at the same time, which is amazing because it cuts all my cleaning time in half when it comes to doing the floors. Um, but this product is available at Walmart. It's on a rollback right now and it's only $124. So if you've been thinking about getting this vacuum, definitely go check it out. They also have a newer model. It's the iFloor 3, but I ended up purchasing the iFloor 2 just because I know, I mean, I know that the iFloor 3 is probably better, but I wanted to kind of test out these products. I've heard mixed reviews on all of the vacuum mop combo vacuum cleaners and so I kind of didn't want to like spend a whole lot of money and then hate it but I absolutely love this vacuum mop it's amazing and my floors always look so great they smell so great I can actually mop a lot more because it takes me half the time to do it um so overall I love this product if you want to spend more money and get the i4 3 then go ahead I feel like it's gonna probably be a little bit better than this machine but I have no complaints um, another thing I will say though is it does take some maintenance you do have to clean out the little parts every time that you vacuum so like the dirty water tank it has a filter and all that in there you want to make sure that you clean that out every single time but it also has an automatic like brush roll cleaner. So right after you get done, you will automatically clean the brush roll, brush roll cleaner. And then I will take out, after it's done doing that, I will take out the other parts and clean them. And then at least once every couple of weeks, I will take the brush roll off and actually clean that with some soap and water. But if you wanna check out the exact vacuum that I have, I will actually link it down in my description box and anything else that I mentioned in today's video, I'll have links for you down there as well. So check out this water. It is so dirty. That's how dirty my floors were. Gross. And I do this, you know, at least once a week. Sometimes I do it more just because it doesn't take me too long. At least in the kitchen, I run it a little bit more. Um, but I thought that was so gross. Okay, now I'm moving on to folding some laundry. I've got a big load of Kaysen's laundry here. So I'm going to fold it and then I'm going to go stick it up in his room and he can actually put it away um, himself. But I did go ahead and fold it for him. But not as much as this does. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love. And you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories. The venom and the remedies. Yeah. Promise I won't forget. Yeah. Maybe it's something. Get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know 
about to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does Oh baby, bye It's for the best and you know why You gotta leave me here right now Before we make this even worse It's gonna hurt even more than you Good morning and welcome to my channel. I'm Amy and today's video is a massive clean, declutter, and organize with me. I'll be sharing some cleaning motivation over a few days of cleaning, getting my house back in order, decluttering, and organizing some of our kitchen drawers and cabinets, and I'll even be sharing a super easy and delicious one-pot meal that I make all the time, especially on busy weeknights when we have sports. Go ahead and write down your to-do list for the day and come tackle all those things on your list with me. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get to cleaning. So we are starting here on day one. I had lots of cleaning to get done. I was kind of doing a downstairs reset after the long weekend and starting here in my bedroom with washing our bedding and cleaning our room. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart. sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different Now that my kids are back in school, I feel like I'm starting to get my weekly routine together. I am a stay-at-home mom, but creating content on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok is considered my full-time job, and sometimes it's so weird to say that. And honestly, when I meet people in person for the first time and they ask me what I do for a living, I usually just say, I'm a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> But creating content takes a lot more time than I ever thought it would before I started YouTube about four years ago. So I do have to be very good about my schedule so I'm not working so much while the kids are at home. Um, social media can definitely cut into family time if I let it. So because my kids are both in sports and have very, very busy schedules in the afternoons and on the weekends, I really try to get most of my work done while they're at school. So this last week, I've been trying to kind of figure out my routine and stay on a good schedule to be the most productive I can be. And I'm just curious, do you guys have a set routine, like a cleaning routine? Or if you're a work from home parent, do you have like a working at home and cleaning schedule that you stick to? Um, I know some of you work and some of you are stay-at-home moms or you're in school. So I'm also curious if you guys have a routine that works for you or if you just wing it day by day when it comes to cleaning. So here I was putting my pillows on my bed because I was about to vacuum the floors, but then I thought that while I had my vacuum out, I'd actually go ahead and vacuum my headboard and mattress too. So I ended up having to put the pillows back on the floor to do the mattress. Inside all that greatness and all of 
Now, I wanted to tell you guys about our mattress because we got this mattress back in March and it's the Lux Natural Mattress from Birch Living. We have been sleeping on this mattress for months now and we absolutely love it. And the reason we purchased this mattress was because our old mattress was way too long for our bed frame. So we were in the market and we came across Birch Living and we were super excited to try out this mattress. So we ordered our mattress. It came vacuum sealed and was shipped straight to our door. And all we did was unroll the mattress and let it inflate for most of the day. And we've been sleeping on the same mattress ever since. We also have a few of their pillows that came with our mattress that we love too. So Birch Living has a few different mattresses on their website, but we went with the Lux Natural, which is made with organic cashmere and it's very breathable so we don't get hot at night. Our mattress is super comfy and it's not too hard or too soft. Now, not only do we love our mattress because we sleep so good on it, but we also love the Birch Living Company for so many different reasons. They actually give you a 100-night sleep trial on your mattress and a 25-year warranty. That's amazing. They also offer free shipping straight to your door. And then the Birch Lux mattress is non-toxic. It's made right here in America with organic and natural materials. So if you're in the market for a new mattress, I highly, highly recommend Birch Living. And I even have a link in my description box that will get you $400 off your Birch Living mattress plus two free pillows. So be sure to check out that link so you don't have to pay full price. And Birch Living also sells lots of other bedding items too. So be sure to check out those items while you're on their website. And thank you to Birch Living for partnering with me on today's video. You're all sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different Now that the bedroom is all clean, I'm moving into the kitchen to start cleaning up in here. And it was so funny because my robot vacuum was actually going off and my cats cannot stand our robot vacuum. If it's going, they're always following it around and watching it like they think it's going to get them. So it was kind of funny. I was just showing you Riley here. And then of course, she's just keeping her eye on that robot vacuum. And if you're new here, we actually have three cats that we got last October. We have Freddie, Riley, and Ozzy. And my kids taught us into getting these cats, and I am not a cat person. But our cats have been so easy, which they are inside, outside cats. So they use the bathroom outside, and we don't have to deal with a litter box anymore. Um, so let's do a little poll in the comments. Are you a cat person or not? I still say I'm not a cat person, but I do kind of like our cats now. <laughs> but I feel like most people are either like cat lovers or dog lovers, and I would definitely choose dogs over cats any day. All right, let's get this kitchen cleaned up. Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked. You're playing it big time You're feeding me lies Everyone has been bugging me To sever the ties But I would never, ever, ever Would have believed them No reason Sometimes the truth is hard to see 
But nothing never, ever, ever seemed to be over I saw her, so I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me It's hard to see But nothing never, ever, ever Seemed to be over I saw her So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me So later in the video, I'm actually going to be cleaning and organizing a bunch of cabinets and drawers. And this is one of the cabinets that you can see right here. It's a big mess and so that's why I'm just kind of putting our paper plates right here at the top like on our countertop I haven't put them down here yet because I'm going to be going through this cleaning it out decluttering and reorganizing all right since I was making dinner I figured I would go ahead and show you guys what I'm making because I am always looking for super quick and easy meals to make especially on weeknights because we're so busy but also ones that don't take a whole lot of ingredients, a whole lot of dishes. I'm just trying to be simple here, you guys. So I figured some of you might like this recipe. It's really good. It's one of our go-to recipes that we eat all the time. And I just picked up a rotisserie chicken for this one. You can, of course, cook your own chicken. But I'll put the recipe down in the description box in case you want to screenshot it and do this recipe at home for yourself. But look, I'm, I'm only using one pot here, and so this just makes for easy, easy cleanup. And then usually we end up eating this for two nights. <laughs> so that makes it even easier because we make enough of this casserole. It's a chicken, broccoli, and rice casserole, as you can see. Um, but we end up making enough so that we can eat it one night and have leftovers the next night. So I love that. Now, just so you guys don't think I'm weird and missed a spot for the cheese, I like to leave a little spot without cheese on top because Kaysen prefers without the cheese. So that's why that little section over there has no cheese on top. Now, he does get some cheese, but this is just to kind of satisfy him. But this is a meal that our entire family loves and will eat for days and days and never get tired of it. Okay, so now we're gonna clean out the sink now that I'm done with all the dishes and everything in here. And while I'm thinking about it, me and Chance were actually having a conversation this morning and we were talking about the sink, we were talking about our kitchen and how our style, or at least my style, has changed since we moved in our house five years ago. Um, there's just a lot of things that, you know, I'm into now that I wasn't into before and things that I would love to change about our house, but we were talking about the sink and there's like a little crack in the inside of our sink on the left side. I don't know if you can even see it really in this frame, but 
it always looks like it's dirty, but it's actually a crack. It's not dirt. It's not like a dirty sink. It's just a crack that I can't do anything about. So we were talking about it, and I'm just curious what you guys think. Would you replace your sink? Um, we got lucky, and we got this sink from Ikea when we were building our house, and it really was not that expensive for a farmhouse sink. Um, but... I don't know. I feel like if we change our sink, if we change that out, we definitely have to change out the countertops because it was cut to the measurements of our sink and which I actually would love to change our countertops. But then if we change that countertop, we have to kind of change the other ones over here because we're not going to have anything that matches. Um, so I don't know. I feel like if we do that, it's going to definitely start like a whole kitchen renovation type project. But what would you guys do? Would you change out the sink because of the crack or would you just leave it? Put your body on the kitchen table and move the dishes to the side. Okay, I have to say something about my cup that you just saw me move. It's called a reduced cup. I think that's the name of the brand. I've seen so many people sharing their Stanley cups and I feel like these are kind of a dupe for the Stanley cup. They are so great. I found them at Target but they also have them on Amazon. I got the blue one off of Amazon and I have a pink one that's from Target but it doesn't have the handle and I honestly prefer the one with the handle. Um, but they are a lot less expensive than the Stanley Cup. They don't go out of stock nearly as fast, at least on Amazon they don't. And I think this one's a 40 ounce mug and I drink all day. I will drink my water in it and I can even leave it overnight with ice and water and it stays like the ice is still there in the morning when I wake up, which I know Yetis are like that too, but I love this cup. I use it all the time. I take it to baseball tournaments with me. It actually fits really well in my cup holders in my car. And I know some of the other cu bigger cups don't do that, don't fit very well. So I love that about it. Anyways, I just had to rant and rave about that cup because I have been using it nonstop and I love it so much. And I feel like the price is really good too. So I'll make sure to link it below. Girl, you always tend to drive me all right, I'm finally taking down our back to school banner. Um, my kids started back school. This was like a week later when I'm finally taking this down. And we did a little back to school breakfast and I shared all of my back to school prep, all the things we do for back to school, all the school supplies, our little baskets, our back to school breakfast, all that stuff in last week's video. So if you missed it, be sure to check it out. Um, I show kind of how we organize and make our mornings go a little bit smoother. But anyways, so I'm finally cleaning that up, getting this area picked up and cleaning over here. Now, earlier in the video, you saw that my robot vacuum was going, but on at least one day a week, I try to pull out my vacuum, my big vacuum, and this is the one that I purchased recently from Walmart. I also have the Shark Uplight, but the one that I have you can't find anymore. So I like to share this one because it is in stock on the Walmart website. Um, and I will make sure to link it below. But I'd like to pull this out once a week to do like a deep vacuum of our rugs. So I vacuumed the rug in our room and then I'm vacuuming the rugs here in the living room in the entryway and then I'm going to actually mop the floors. So on the same day that I mop the floors, I like to go ahead and clean our rugs as well. Oh, the candles out. Baby, I still wear the shirt you gave 
Now I also decided to go ahead and vacuum our couches because the cats lay on the couches all the time. One of our cats is black and so she's got the black hair and it gets all over the couch. And then the other one that lays inside most of the time is Riley. She's the one you saw in the video earlier and she sheds horribly. So you can't see it as well, but it's all over the couch. And it's funny because we used to have a chocolate lab and he never got on the couches or anything. Now his dog hair definitely got everywhere, but it didn't really get on the couches as much as having cats. So this is a new thing for me. I'm going to have to definitely vacuum my couches a whole lot more than I used to. <laughs> All right, so the last thing I'm going to do on the this day of cleaning before we get to the next day where I'm decluttering and organizing the cabinets, I am going to go ahead and mop our floors. And this is the Tenco iFloor 2. I also got this from Walmart. It is an amazing price. They also have an iFloor 3, but it's a little bit pricier. And I think they do the same thing. Now, the other one is an upgrade for sure. But... This one works great. It's actually a vacuum and mop in one. So I love this because it cuts down on so much time because usually when I'm mopping my floors, I have to go around and vacuum the entire downstairs with a vacuum and then go back through and mop with my mop. But with this, it cuts that time in half because it's vacuuming and mopping at the same time, which actually makes me want to do my floors more because it doesn't take me as long to do it and my back doesn't hurt when I'm done. I just love this product and I would buy it a hundred times over and over and over again because I feel like it's so worth it. And if I mention anything in this video that you're interested in, then be sure to um, check the links down in my description box because I will try to link everything that I can find for you. so we've got the whole house cleaned and picked up and 
ready for me to make a mess cleaning out cabinets the next day. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's declutter and organize some cabinets. So we're gonna start with this cabinet first. This is the one I showed you the other day. It's got paper plates, tons of water bottles, napkins, all kinds, oh, Tupperware. All of our Tupperware is down here. So I'm literally pulling everything out. I'm gonna um, spray it down, wipe it down, clean it up, and then I'm gonna start organizing down here. And wait till you see the after, I absolutely love it. And then I've got tons of other drawers and cabinets that I'm gonna be decluttering and organizing as well. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. So I got this little organizer off of Amazon. You can actually do three shelves, but when I tried to do the three shelves, one of the shelves was teeny tiny and I couldn't fit any water bottles on it. So I ended up going with just two shelves and I feel like it worked out really good for this cabinet. Now for this cabinet, I also got a couple of different organizers from Target and I don't typically shop for organizers from Target because they're usually a little bit more expensive than on Amazon or Walmart, but I happened to be walking through and I saw these and I figured they would be perfect, the perfect size for this cabinet and what I want them for. So what I'm going to do is actually store all of the products that I use for packing their lunches down here. So it's all in one space. So I've got some little um, bread cutters that I use for peanut butter and jelly, some silicone um, cupcake liners that I use to put like different fruits and stuff in. And then I've also got these little containers that I got from Dollar Tree that I use for sauces and then plastic utensils. In the water. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best to say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna Now this little tub I got from Dollar Tree years ago So I'm just gonna wipe this out And I'm actually gonna put the containers All the little bento boxes in here and store them in this cabinet as well. But not as much as this does. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedy. Now I did end up decluttering a bunch of water bottles, but these are some of the extras that we don't use as often that I'm gonna store back here and we can always move the water bottle shelf, just pick it up and pull it out if we ever need anything. Um, so I thought it was perfect back here as well as some paper bowls and napkins. And then I'm gonna store all of our paper goods and our um, air fryer liners and things like that in this basket. And then when I put it down in that cabinet, I can actually pull it out to get to the other things behind it. So it makes it all the stuff in this cabinet super accessible, which I love. So isn't this so much better? You guys don't know how excited I was to have this done. This cabinet was driving me bonkers. All right, now we're moving on to the drawer right above, and this is where we keep all of our lids. We have lots of Tervis tumbler cups, and we like to use the lids a good bit. So I am going through and decluttering a bunch of these lids that we no longer use, and then I'm gonna keep the rest that we do use here in this drawer. We start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this all right, now I'm gonna organize this drawer. We have tons of sauces. Yes, lots of different Chick-fil-A style sauces. We've got Chick-fil-A sauce, Zesty Buffalo, Polynesian, 
sweet and spicy sriracha. I love me some Chick-fil-A sauces and I just needed to organize them and have it look nice in here. Um, but also in this drawer, we're keeping some stevia packets. We have those little Mio flavors for flavoring your waters. Um, the kids love to use these. I just make sure to get the ones that are caffeine free for them. And then I've got some honey roasted barbecue sauce, which is also a Chick-fil-A sauce that's in here. And then I'm moving all of our straws into that back basket in this cabinet. It's for the Now in this cabinet, I have a bunch of essential oils. I don't use them very often, but I do want to have a place to store them. And then we have all of our thermometers and like ear thermometer tabs right there, which could go up, up in our medicine cabinet, but that's a mess. That's for another day. I'm not getting to that one today. But then we also have, you know, some baking, um, measuring cups and spoons, and then other kitchen utensils. Now this cabinet is for all of our little kitchen appliances and I'm really not going to mess with this one too much. I'm just going to clean it out and declutter anything that needs to come out of here. But for the most part, this is the only place that I could keep them. And I try to keep the ones that we use more often in the front and on the bottom shelf. Wish you the best and say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this. All right, and then in this cabinet, we have our Lazy Susans. Same thing for this cabinet. I didn't do a whole lot of reorganizing or moving things around in this cabinet. Um, I just moved a few things that made more sense to be on the top than the bottom. But I cleaned it out and then stuck everything back in here. Now the rest of the drawers, I'm doing a whole lot of switching up because I got a few different organizers off of Amazon and I needed them in specific drawers because of their sizes and everything. So I'm moving around all of these utensils. I'm moving around our silverware and all of that into these couple of drawers. And then and these bottom two drawers, I'm going to be doing a lot of rearranging in these as well. Riding on the dizzying high. Okay, so here are a few of the organizers that I got. So the first one is this drawer organizer for utensils. So I'm going to put that one in this drawer. As you can see, it's a little wider than the one that we had our utensils in before. So this is perfect for this longer drawer. 
And I'm also going to put some of the utensils that we used out that we use outside for like the grill and everything. I'm going to put that in this drawer as well. Sunsets, remember the colors, they were wrong. It was way more than a dream. We climbed up, get over the hillside. It's so all right, we stood there all wide eyed. You and I floating on air in my mind. Cause there's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. No living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. All right, so here are a couple of other organizers that I got off of Amazon. They're all bamboo, and so I feel like they are very aesthetically pleasing, so they look really good in your drawers, but also they keep everything nice and tidy and organized, and everybody knows where things are supposed to go because I'm able to label them. Now, I did see that Target came out with a pack of Ziploc bags that is kind of organized like this and you can purchase them all together but it has specific sizes so I use a whole lot of gallon size bags a ton of sandwich size bags and then I also have some snack size bags which I end up putting in here in just a few minutes but here you can see I ended up changing the quart because I don't typically buy the quart and I realized I had a ton of sandwich size bags so I'd rather have two compartments for that than waste a compartment on something that I don't ever use. But here I'm also going to put the wax paper. We've got some plastic wrap and then I ended up having to go get some more tin foil. We were completely out. So I did end up getting that to put in there as well. So now we're on the last drawer for today. I'm gonna do some organizing and decluttering in the next video too. But in this drawer, I decided to keep all of our Tupperware here and I feel like this works so much better. We can see everything and everything is so easy to grab. All right, that is all of the organizing I'm gonna do today, but I figured I would go around and show you all of the drawers that I reorganized today. They look so much better. Y'all have to let me know what you think. A lot of these containers, by the way, are from Dollar Tree. I don't think I mentioned a lot of these, but I worked with what I had, but then if I knew I didn't have anything that worked for these spaces, I ended up purchasing those other items off of Amazon. But I seriously love the way everything turned out. And this drawer right here, I might end up rearranging a little bit because I did find some knife organizers, but they were too um, tall for our top drawers. So I might end up putting them in here, but I ended up having to get two sets. So they just came in and I'm ready to use them. Um, so I might end up changing that drawer a little bit, but if I do, I'll show you in next week's video. So y'all be sure to subscribe if you're new and click the bell so you get notifications when I do post new videos because next week I'll be doing even more decluttering and organizing. I've got some junk drawers to do and I also have our pots and pans cabinet which I'm about to show you. It's not horrible but I got some new pots and pans from Caraway and I really want to use them and they come with their own organizer so I'm really excited about that. We're going to go through and organize those and then a few other cabinets. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video and that it gave you tons of cleaning motivation, also some organizing ideas. And if you did enjoy it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you need even more cleaning motivation, I do have some videos that I'll leave here on the screen at the end of the video. And I have lots of playlists that are organized by categories. So go check those out too. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.
eyes Hey, hey, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm Amy, and today's video is a realistic day of cleaning. I will be doing a beginning of the week reset. I'll be sharing a grocery haul. I have lots of tidying up to do and unpacking from the weekend. I'm organizing my new pots and pans, and I even have a super easy crock pot meal that my family absolutely loves and is perfect for those busy weeknights. I hope you love today's video. I feel like it's a little bit different than what I typically do, so you'll have to let me know if you like this style of video. And you guys need to go ahead and get that to-do list ready and let's clean together. All right, you guys, today's video is gonna be a realistic clean with me. So I have my to-do list. I have my weekly meal plan, which I'll show you that in a minute. Let's look at my to-do list really quick. I made a list that I feel like I should be able to accomplish before I have to go pick up the kids from school and we get into all of our after school activities. Um, so the first thing is I have a Walmart pickup order first thing in the morning. I am going to put the groceries away. That's gotta be done, right? And then I'm gonna tidy up the kitchen. I have to put away our suitcases from the weekend, fold and put away the laundry that I left on the couch over the weekend. Um, and then I have to tidy the living room, which isn't too, too bad of, other than the clothes. And then unpack and put away our deliveries. I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys, but I have a bunch of boxes sitting at my front door and I need to get that stuff put away. I need to organize the pots and pans in our cabinets. I got some new pots and pans, which I can't wait to show y'all. And then of course I have a crock pot meal for today. So I need to start that around lunchtime. So that's my to-do list. We're gonna see if we can get through all of it. All right, now let me show you our meal plan for this week in case you guys need some ideas for meal planning. Um, so we're gonna do crock pot pork chops and rice. I'll actually show you guys this recipe in today's video. Then on Tuesday, we're doing crock pot cracked chicken and salad. I'll keep, I'll put a link to the recipe to this one down below too, in case you wanna try this one. Tacos on Wednesday, we're actually picking up after our football game because it's in town in like Savannah. So um, it's about a 35 minute drive home. So we're just gonna pick up some dinner after the game. We're gonna do pizza on Friday, burgers on Saturday for the first football game of the season. And then we are going out to eat with some friends for their birthday. So that is our meal plan for the week. And then I like this, I can actually write down our shopping list. So usually when I'm like looking at a recipe, I'll put down all the things that we don't have and make sure that I add those to my Walmart grocery order. So these are just some things that like came to mind or things that were needed for these little recipes here. All right, so let's go get started on this to-do list and see what we can knock out for the day. All right guys, let's do a really quick grocery haul. I went to Walmart this morning, did a Walmart pickup order, and I got some provolone, some turkey. This is for turkey sandwiches. We've got some sweet relish, and then some tuna fish. I like to do tuna fish sandwiches, or even just, I'll eat it straight out of the bowl with some mayo and Greek yogurt. Very high in protein. Um, I've got some cinnamon rolls. Honestly, I didn't even know I added this, but this will be perfect. The kids can have this for their fr fun Friday breakfast. Green onion, some cream cheese. These are both for a recipe I'm doing tomorrow. So, a sweet onion. We've got some crunchy taco shells, some pop tarts, ranch seasoning. This is for a recipe today and tomorrow. Some um, peanut butter, bacon bits. Now I could have cooked my own bacon, which I might still do that, but this is for tomorrow's recipe as well. Um, if I don't have enough time and it's Chance doing it, then actually 
He might even want to cook regular bacon, but I got this just in case we wanted to use this instead of real bacon. Even though it says real bacon bits, guys. Um, okay, um, mashed potatoes. I got a couple of packs of that. Some brown gravy. This is for tonight's recipe. For fruit this week, I got grapes, blueberries, strawberries, and bananas. Um, we've got some cream of mushroom soup. I got a couple things of those. This pasta roni, this is the Parmesan cheese angel hair pasta. My kids love this. But I always like to have this on hand just in case we cook something new that the kids have never tried before and they absolutely hate it. Then I always have this pasta. We have chicken and um, veggies that we can steam in the microwave. We have a bunch of veggies in our freezer. So anyway, that's always a backup, a quick backup option. We also have jasmine rice. This is our favorite rice, so we always get that. Um, a bunch of taco seasoning, some tortillas, beef broth, Ritz crackers. Um, I get these just in case we need a quick breakfast in the morning. And then I also got these from the bakery. I've shown this a bunch, but we love the chocolate chip muffins. Um, some yogurt. Always have to get the brownies. And then for another little dessert, um, these kind of fell out the other pack that I got and I put a few of them in the fridge already, but I get the sugar-free Jello pudding packs. Um, I'll either get just plain chocolate or the chocolate and vanilla swirls. Casey really likes this as a dessert. And then these flips. We love the peanut butter cup ones. I have a few others in the fridge already. I can't remember which ones, but these are our favorite. All right, and then meats this week, we've got a couple of packs of ground beef and then some chicken for tomorrow night and pork chops, boneless pork chops for tonight. I'm doing a crock pot recipe, so I'll show you guys that too. Um, and then drinks, I got some sparkling ice and some Diet Dr. Peppers. So that is all that I got for this week. All of our veggies are in our freezer. We typically like to do frozen vegetables just because they're easy and we can cook them really quick no matter if they're going into a one pot recipe or we're eating them on the side that's just kind of how we do it all right i'm gonna go put all of this stuff up now so on this day i started a new book and it's called every summer after and as i'm editing this i'm about halfway through the book and i am really loving it it's a little break from my typical thriller that i usually read um, it's more of a love story, which I love to read these types of books occasionally, but I'm definitely more of a thriller girl. And I kind of wish I would have read this one at the beginning of the summer because it is a perfect summer read just because of the setting. But I'll update you guys when I finish this book. And if you're looking for some of my other recommendations, then check out my Instagram books highlights on my Instagram account. I have a link to my Instagram in the description box, but it's just amy.darley. But like I said, so far, I am absolutely loving this book. I have been hooked from the very beginning, so I do think it's going to be a good one. I'm just excited to see how it ends. I've been trying my best for a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start a new So really quick, I wanted to mention that if you did not see last week's video, be sure to go check it out because I reorganized almost all of the drawers and cabinets here in my kitchen and I'm really loving the way that everything turned out and all the products that I shared in that video. 
This is one of the drawers that I reorganized and I have definitely gone to the wrong drawer about a hundred times since I moved all the silverware into this drawer and me and my whole family have done it. But eventually we'll remember where the silverware drawer is. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, I am washing off our fruit and I'm actually about to cut our strawberries. We just like to have the cut, the strawberries cut in half. It's just, I feel like they last a little bit longer that way. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but they're also easier to pack in the kids' lunches and stuff that way. Um, but I'm curious, do you guys wash your fruit and do you cut it up or do you leave your strawberries whole? So at the beginning of the video, I showed you guys the mess in my house and it's actually not horrible. It definitely gets a lot worse, especially when we're home all weekend. But on the Friday before this Monday, I had started folding some laundry. I got the house cleaned up and then we were in a hurry to get out of the house because we were heading to Charleston for a baseball tournament. Um, my son plays travel baseball, so we were going to a baseball tournament in Charleston, and we left right after the kids got out of school, so I just left the clothes folded and on the couch. I didn't go put them away or anything, so I will still have to do that in a little bit, but all of the stuff that was on our countertop and most of the mess throughout the house is actually from coming home from the weekend because... Like I said, I cleaned the house before we left, but then of course when we come in, everybody just kind of drops their stuff off on the countertops. We didn't end up getting home until about 8.30 on Sunday night, so the kids still had to shower, get their stuff ready for school the next day. So I didn't unpack anything, I just left it all for Monday. 
And then also while we were out of town, I got a few packages delivered. So those are sitting at the front door and I'm going to actually unbox that stuff and show you all the stuff that I got. I ordered a few things from Walmart and then I got a few things sent to me, which honestly, that doesn't happen a whole lot, but I'm excited to show you what I did get. And then I also ordered the caraway pans. I told you guys I was going to order those a few months ago and they've been sitting in my office for like a month now. And I'm really excited because I'm going to finally unbox those and organize the pots and pans in the kitchen. But then there's also a mess in the dining room that is not from the weekend. I did not clean that up before we left. It's just a whole bunch of like school supplies and then a bunch of things that the kids have brought home from school that just need to be put away. So you'll see the mess in there when I get to it. But it was just a lot of stuff that needed to be taken upstairs pretty much. And this was our snack bag from the weekend. I figured you didn't care to see all that. So I put that stuff away really quickly. And now we've got pretty much all of the kitchen is clean. It's almost lunchtime. So I'm going to go ahead and start this crock pot recipe. And this was so easy. It's just pork chops. And you kind of make like a gravy with the cream of mushroom soup, some ranch seasoning, and some beef broth. You just pour all of that into the can. I did have two cans of cream of mushroom, but I did not need that much, so I only used one can. And then about halfway through the day, I checked it. I let it cook on low for six hours, but about halfway through, I checked it, and it was still a little bit soupy, so I did put a little bit of cornstarch in there to kind of thicken it up. And then we served it on this night. We used rice and then we used a little bit of gravy from the crock pot to go on top of the rice too. But you could also do mashed potatoes and green beans, whatever side you want to do. But it's so funny because I shared this recipe over on TikTok and Instagram um, the day after we made it. And I just figured this is one of those like typical crock pot recipes. I'm pretty sure that I've shared similar uh, a similar crock pot recipe on my YouTube channel before, but with chicken. But it was just really funny because when I posted the video, and this happens a lot on Instagram and TikTok, um, when I posted it, I got a bunch of really sweet comments, but I also got a bunch of really ugly comments and just things that I would never just say to anyone. Um, for instance, the first comment that I got was, that looks disgusting. I would never make that. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm glad that you know, you get to choose whether you make this recipe or not. If it doesn't look good to you, then you don't have to make it. But our family loves it, you know. So I try not to, I mean, obviously those types of comments, they don't really get to me or anything. I just think it's funny because on YouTube, there definitely is not a whole lot of that. I feel like this community is amazing and I rarely see a bunch of negative comments. Like, I might have some people that have opinions about things, but most of the time they say it in a nice way. Um, but on TikTok and Instagram, there can definitely be some really rude people. And most of the time, it's someone that doesn't follow me, obviously. They're just coming across something that I posted and then, you know, leaving a not so nice comment because they don't know me. But anyways, I was just going to say how on YouTube I'm so grateful because there's just not a whole lot of just blatantly rude comments for no reason. You guys are so sweet, so supportive, and even when you're telling me something like with constructive criticism, you're so sweet about it. Um, so thank you guys for always being so sweet. And thank you for being here and taking the time out of your day to come hang out with me. It just really means a lot that you guys would spend time with me every single time I post a video. You guys are awesome, and I can't thank you guys enough. Every time I try
Okay, moving on to this mess in the dining room, I really wanted to get all of this stuff picked up and put away. And so since there was a lot of stuff that was going upstairs, I went and grabbed one of our laundry hampers and just threw everything in there. I took it upstairs and then I'm gonna make the kids put it away whenever the kids get home from school. Also, while I'm here in the dining room, I wanted to mention that I am finally getting the itch to decorate for fall. I feel like I'm always one of the last people on YouTube to put up a fall decorating video. And if you don't know, I live right outside of Savannah, Georgia, and it is so hot. It's still so hot here. So sometimes it just takes me a little bit longer than a lot of people to get excited to decorate for fall. Now, I love fall decorations. They're probably my favorite decorations of the year. Um, but you know, I kind of want it to feel a little bit more like fall, but that's not going to happen until about November here. So I need to just go ahead, um, football starting up. So I'm getting excited to start decorating and okay, I'll get back to that. But really quickly, I got this package sent from Lysol and of course you guys know, I love Lysol cleaning products. I love cleaning products in general. Um, but they sent me a few of their new products and then a few of these things I'm excited to put in my car, like the wipes. I'm going to use those in my car. Um, and then of course this little, um, miniature disinfecting spray. I'm going to put that in the car as well. And then I got more wipes and the laundry sanitizer. I use that stuff all the time. I use it for all of the kids like sports especially um, Kaysen's baseball and football stuff. And then I also use it for all of our cleaning rags and stuff like that. But I thought that was really cool that they decided to just send me this little package. Um, I love Lysol. So anyways, I'm unboxing that stuff and I'm going to go put the cleaning supplies away. Anyways, like I was saying, I'm getting excited to decorate for fall. So I needed to get the house cleaned up first and then... I'm going to actually pull out all of the fall stuff, see what I have, and then maybe make a trip to Target, Walmart, Home Goods. I don't know. I'm going to make a trip and get any new fall stuff that I can find, and I will be decorating. So y'all be on the lookout for that video probably next week if I can get it all done before next Thursday. All right, I still have one more box to unload, but let me go ahead and show you what I got really quick. So all this stuff is from Walmart. I got Gracie June a new pair of rain boots. Her old ones were too small. I got myself a new pair of rain boots. These are time and true. And I wanted like the ankle style boots. I thought this color was really cute. And we really needed these because last week we went to um, one of Kaysen's football games and it had rained right before and it was a mud pit out there. Now luckily I have like my hunter boots but they're really tall and it was so hot out there I was dying. But Gracie June's old boots did not fit her so she was running around in little um, like tennis shoe type things. So anyways I wanted to get those. I also got these they're like they're supposed to be like Spanx. So these are the faux Spanx. I've seen people sharing these. Unfortunately, they sent me the wrong size, so I'm gonna have to take these back and get a new pair in my size, but they're super cute and they feel so good. Like, these would feel so good on. Um, next, we have this darker wash denim jacket. I have one that's very similar to this one, but in a light wash color, so I wanted to get the darker color. I thought it was really cute. And then, of course, you guys have probably seen all the shackets that they have at Walmart right now. This is also a time and true and um, they have several different colors, but this one was my favorite. So I went with this one and that would even be cute with the rain boots and even the pants. So got myself a little outfit right here. Um, and then these two items were from Amazon. I ordered a black one of this too, but it hasn't come yet. But this is just the um, Lulu Lemon Knockoff from Amazon. This was like $18 on Amazon, or maybe this one was 24. One of them was 18, one of them was 24, I don't know. I'll link them, but this is adjustable. It has the adjustable straps, and I like this color too because, once again, it can go with a lot of stuff, and then I also got the black one to go with a bunch. And then I've seen these on Instagram. People have been sharing these too, and it's just the spray hand sanitizer. So I thought this would be perfect for my car, so that's why I got that. 
These I did not order, but Stanley, the brand, yeah. sent us these Stanley cups. So they sent one for Kaysen, he got a red one. They sent one for Gracie June and she got the purple. And then they also sent me one, which is like a lighter purple. Um, but I've never had a Stanley cup before. So I've been seeing these everywhere too. And I was really excited when they wanted to send me some. So if you guys have Stanley cups already, y'all will have to let us know in the comments whether you love them, what you think about them. I really thought these cool, or these kids ones were very cool. I love the fact that they have the handle. And then um, when you open this up, there is a straw in here too. So it sits and there's a straw in here. So I know my kids are gonna love these. All right, now that all that's put away, I'm gonna pull out my new Caraway pans. Like I said, these have been sitting in the office for a while now, so I was super excited to finally pull these out. Um, there, It comes with three lids, and it also has like the organization stuff that comes with it. And then here you can see I've got four little pots. So I bought these because everybody that I talked to that has them said that they love them so much and that they're such good quality, but I also like the fact that it came with its own little organization system, which is really cool. Um, and then they came in several different colors, and I went with the off-white. So now I'm going to just clean out the current cabinet that I have and go through the pots and pans and decide which ones I'm going to keep, which ones I'm going to get rid of. Most of these I've had for a really long time. There are a few pans that I decided to keep. Um, it's the ones that we use the most. And then I also had a few smaller little pots that are smaller than the current ones that I just got, the caraway pans. So I decided to keep a few of those too in case we're, you know, cooking with something that doesn't need to be as big of a pot, if that makes sense. I did want to let y'all know that now that I've had these for a few days, I've actually used a few of the pots already, and they work great, so hopefully they live up to the hype that they've been given on Instagram and YouTube and everywhere else, because everybody rants and raves about these pans. I'll be sure to link the set that I got down in the description box, because they are on major sale right now. I just went and looked at the website, um, but... Also, if they, these are too expensive, a bunch of you guys told me about the Members Mark Sam's Club Pots and Pans. They're supposed to be a dupe of these, and so I actually looked into those before I bought these, but every time I went to the website, they were always out of stock. So I just went and checked. Those are in stock, and they're actually about half the price of the sale price of these, so I'll be sure to link those as well if you're looking for some new pots and pans because everybody that has those has said that they were great too. So just wanted to give you a little bit of a cheaper option in case you're looking for something like this. So here is the lid organizer that it came with. It just hangs on the inside of your cabinet door. And I actually went on Instagram to look at all of their pictures to see if I could find pictures of this because for some reason, I don't know if my cabinet doors are just shorter than most but it was too long so I couldn't put the bottom lid in that bottom slot so the biggest lid I'm actually going to just put here on the shelf and the other two lids will go in this organizer but that's the only way I could get the door to close and I even put the I tried to put the organizer like a little bit higher on my cabinet door but then that top lid would prevent it from closing so it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but I still think it's perfect for at least a couple of lids, and then the other one will just go on that top shelf. So I love the way that this is organized. I love that I can reach all of my pots and pans super easy, and they're really cute too. <laughs> Alright you guys, so I was able to complete everything on my to-do list. Now when it came to like putting away all of our stuff from the weekend, I didn't get to all the bathroom stuff, but I'll probably do that after the kids go to sleep tonight. Um, and I can get back in there and just kind of put all my stuff away, all the toiletry items and things like that. But for the most part, I got everything done on my list for today and that rarely ever happens but I feel like I was pretty motivated today can't say that about every day of the week but I got it all done and it feels so good to have a clean home or at least um, 
a checked off to-do list because <laughs> there are definitely spaces in my house that need to be cleaned. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a realistic day of cleaning and what all I was able to accomplish in this one day. It feels so nice to have my house back in order and I can't wait to start decorating for fall. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those upcoming videos. And also be sure to introduce yourself down in the comments so that way we can get to know you. I hope you guys have an awesome week and I will see you in next week's video. Bye. Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. I'm Amy in case you're new here and I'm so excited for today's clean and decorate with me for fall video. I'm probably the last person on YouTube to be decorating for fall but that's okay. I'm so excited to show you how all of my fall decor turned out this year and of course to give you some cleaning motivation today too. Now before we get started go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and then tell me in the comments one thing you always look forward to in the fall. All right, now let's go ahead and get that to-do list out and let's get started on some cleaning and decorating. All right, we are starting first thing in the morning here in my bedroom. This is something that doesn't take me very long to do, but I always know that if I get my bed made and get my room tidied up first thing in the morning, I'm way more productive and just overall feel so much more motivated to get my to-do list checked off for the day. Now, I knew that this was gonna be a long day of cleaning because I wanted to get all the cleaning and decorating done for the inside for fall. And I'd already gone through my fall tubs the day before. So I was trying to get a little bit of cleaning started and then I was gonna head out to Target and go get a few new items for fall decor and then get back and get to all the cleaning and decorating. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on then We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break I'm running dry, everything's the same We'll try tonight but This time we're not safe and sound Not safe and sound All right, so now the bedroom is all tidied up and we've always got laundry to do. So I'm gonna get a load started here in the washing machine. And what I've been trying to do is get all the things I need to get done during the day. And then if I have time, I'll go ahead and fold during the day while I watch a TV show or a movie or something. But a lot of times it's after the kids go to bed and I can get the Braves game on or a TV show or something that Chance and I are watching together and then we can fold laundry together. So that's what ended up happening on this night because I just had so many other things that I had to do and it literally took all day. So that's just how I've been getting through laundry lately. All right, so now I'm headed to Target and I'm checking out all their fall decor. I kind of went in with a, an idea of a few things that I wanted to get. Um, definitely wanted some pillows. You guys know I have a bazillion pillows, so of course I needed more. <laughs> so I went to Target and could not resist. And then this is the Hearth and Hand stuff. Oh my goodness, all their stems are so pretty. But I already had a ton of fall stems from previous years. So I ended up getting just a few little things here and there, which I'll show you in just a little bit. 
All right, we are back home and ready to get cleaning. And you guys, I was seriously speed cleaning this day. I knew I had a lot of cleaning and a lot of decorating to do. And when I decorate, it always takes forever because I have to move around things before I can get it exactly how I want it. So it does take me a while. So this took a long time. So I am moving really, really quickly. Plus this is a little sped up, but I was speed cleaning today, you guys. Okay, I'm seeing my air fryer here and it actually worked this day, but while I'm editing this, I actually tried to heat up some chicken nuggets in the air fryer today for lunch and it did not work. I think my air fryer is busted and it's funny because I've been talking about getting a new air fryer just for the looks of the air fryer. I've seen the um, Drew Barrymore one from Walmart. It's the beautiful brand. I just think they're really pretty and I use an air fryer pretty much every single day like I love my air fryer so I wanted to kind of keep it out on the counter but I wanted one that looked pretty but I've also seen mixed reviews on that air fryer so I was a little hesitant to buy it but now I have to get a new air fryer because I can't live without one so if you guys have the Drew Barrymore one from Walmart let me know what you think about it um, if you don't have that one but you have another one that you love let me know what it is, links, everything, because I'm gonna have to buy one sometime this week. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying to. You give me a sign, give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more, think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it, cause I want you close, I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering. You know I do anything to be in your arms again. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. So for my sink and my countertops today in the kitchen, I'm using the Sprayway All Purpose Cleaner. And I'm doing this because I wanted to give everything like a good deep clean. I wanted to disinfect everything. And typically my everyday cleaner for the sink is my Dawn Power Wash. But like I said, I wanted to disinfect everything and give everything a really good thorough cleaning today. So that's why I'm using this. I also ended up taking the soap dispensers that I had on here and then my little sink caddy and everything off of the top of my sink. The soap jars and the tray were obviously spring colors. So I wanted to make sure that I got those out of here because I'm decorating for fall. But I also wanted to just give my sink a little bit more of a clean look and not have everything stacked up here. So I ended up putting my sponge and all of my like dishwashing stuff underneath the cabinet. And then I'm only going to leave the hand soap here on top of my sink. And I actually traded it out for a Mrs. Myers fall scent. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Talking to you. Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in. So give me a sign. Now the pink stuff is definitely the miracle paste to keeping your porcelain sinks white. So I do this every week, at least once a week. Um, especially since I have a white sink, but it also works really good on stainless steel appliances too. So if you haven't tried the pink stuff yet, you definitely need to try it. They also have like a spray. They have all kinds of cleaning products now. So I did get a box in recently and I'm going to try some of the stuff out in my bathroom because they have a bathroom cleaner. They just have all kinds of different products. So I'm excited to try those out. But the pink stuff is definitely my go-to for keeping my sinks white. Now really quick while we're talking about sinks, a few videos ago I asked you guys for your suggestions because I have a little crack here in my sink 
And some of you told me about a sink, a porcelain sink repair kit. So if like you have a crack in your sink, you can order this little kit. I ordered it off of Amazon and you're supposed to be able to repair the crack. And so I just got it in. I haven't had a chance to repair it. You can see it right here in this little shot. It looks like you know, a mark on my sink, but that's actually a crack in the sink. So I'm gonna repair that with my little kit and hopefully it works out really good and I don't have to end up replacing my sink. Um, because I told you guys, there's just, I feel like if I have to replace that, I have to replace the countertops. It's just a whole lot of stuff that I would have to deal with. So hopefully I don't have to do that and I can make it work. I just wanna let you know Okay, now I'm getting the stovetop all cleaned up. I'm using the Method degreaser. This stuff is amazing. I've been using it for years. Um, it just really does a good job at breaking down all of the grease and grime that is built up on my stovetop. So I'm gonna use a wet sponge just to kind of um, work all of that in. And then I'm gonna go back over it with a dry microfiber cloth to wipe everything up. We go for this, no more tricks. We could take things slow. Say you think about it too When the lights go out and there's no doubt That I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in So give me a sign, give me a sign, baby, just give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you and here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here, I wanna go all in, so give me a sign. Okay, we're getting to the fun part, so. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down my counters and I went ahead and pulled everything off the counters as I was cleaning just because I knew I was about to start decorating anyways. So I'm gonna clean and wipe this down and then I will start doing a little bit of decorating here in the kitchen. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile so here you can see I have everything laid out on my countertop and I was going back and forth out of my office looking at some of my fall decor and pulling things out that I just purchased and just starting to decorate here on the countertops. Now I will say I do like to keep my countertops pretty simple because obviously the kitchen is probably one of the places that I clean the most and so I don't like having to clean around a whole bunch of stuff. So I am leaving things out that we use daily and then putting just a few odds and ends that are just decorative pieces. As I'm going through and decorating, you're gonna see some new items that I got this year and then you're gonna also see some items that I've had forever as I'm decorating, but I will be sure to link anything and everything that I can find down in my description box. So that way, if you see anything that you're curious about in this video, you'll be able to find a link to it. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna have pictures by room that are on my Like to Know It page, which you'll have a link to in the description box. And then that way, if there's items you're looking for in the kitchen, for instance, you'll see the picture of the kitchen and you'll be able to find all the fall decor in the kitchen on that particular picture. 
And then of course I'll have one for the living room, the dining room, etc. But I love using Like to Know It to share all of the links with you guys because I can actually create categories on my Like to Know It page and organize items that you guys are looking for by a category. So if you're looking for organization supplies, I can link that there in that category. If you're looking for my favorite cleaning products, I have that as a category. If you're looking for things that are in my home, I also have that as a category. So you'll see on my Like to Know It page, I have everything organized and saved right there in one place. So that way any of those frequently asked about items or products that I love, I can share those with you. Now I do want to be completely transparent with you. Um, like to know it is an affiliate program. So that means I make a commission off of items that you've purchased after you've clicked on my links. So let's just say you wanted to get the little syrup containers that I just filled up and put in my coffee station. Well, if you click on the link that I share, then it would take you to Amazon where I purchased those little containers. And then if you decided to purchase anything from Amazon within, I think it's like, it's either 24 to 48 hours and it varies depending on the store that you're purchasing from. But if you, after you've clicked on that link, if you purchase when that, within that amount of time, then I would make a small commission. And the commission also varies from retailer to retailer. So one place might give me 2% commission. One place might give me 5%. So it just kind of depends on what they offer. But I did want to let y'all know that I do make a small commission when you shop using my links. And I also wanted to just say thank you for using those links when you are shopping because it really does help me out. And of course, you know, I love getting to share all the stuff that I find with you guys. And hopefully you'll find the Lightning Know It page helpful. That I know with the heart on fire. Now we're in the breakfast area and I'm just going to wipe down the table here really quick and then you're going to see I make just a couple of swaps to make it a little bit more fall-ish in here. Dance until it feels alright All night We're all about the good vibes All about the good vibes I will make you forget all your sorrows Okay, now we're moving into the living room, and this is one of my favorite parts of the decorating this year. I just love all of the pillows that I found from Target, and then, of course, this green blanket that you'll get to see in just a minute. But I feel like it just looks so cozy in here, and it was probably my favorite room for the fall this year. Like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a dream. Just relax. All your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, Okay, so here on my coffee table, I have a bunch of Reflections magazines, which is our local magazine, and they always do different themed magazines for the seasons. And two of my sweet friends actually work with this magazine, and they always do the food and the like staging of everything. 
So I'm going to link their accounts down below because they're amazing. My friend Jessie has an Instagram account where she shares lots of different food ideas. All of her stuff is so good. And then my friend Stephanie, she does home decor. And you've probably seen where she's helped me out with several different areas of my house. She actually helped me with my office a long time ago, my playroom upstairs, and then also the back patio here you can see. A little bit of that but she is amazing she does interior design and then her Instagram feed is gorgeous so I'm gonna leave links to both of their accounts down in my description box in case you just need some good food or home decor inspiration Okay, so I have never, ever, ever cleaned these windows on a video before. So I figured while I was doing this, I'd go ahead and show you how I'm doing it. I got this extendable duster off of Amazon. It came in a two pack, so I have that link below. And I also use this to dust our fan, our ceiling fan here in the living room. I always have to go up to our balcony and dust it from there. But I'm dusting the edges up here. And then now I'm just gonna take a dry microfiber cloth and I'm gonna rubber band it around my Swiffer little sweeper thing here. Now there are actual like window cleaning tools that you can buy on Amazon, but I figured this would work just as well. So I DIY'd it and I'm using the Sprayway glass cleaner and I spray it right onto the microfiber cloth and then I just go to cleaning my windows. Now I did still have to stand on a um, chair, but I got all the way to the top of the windows and it worked great.
we grow old Please tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day You set my world on fire So now we're moving into the dining room to decorate in here. I'm going to start by wiping down the tables and then if you've seen my clean and decorate with me videos in the past, you've seen that I made these fall signs that I've put in here for the last few years, I actually DIY'd them. And then on the back, I flipped them over and painted them and made them Christmas signs on the back. So they were really cool because you could use them, you know, all through the fall, flip them around, and then you have your Christmas decor. But I decided not to use them this year because I do feel like they look a little bit more farmhousey. Um, if that's a word <laughs> and I wanted to stick to the more coastal look so I'm just gonna keep these two signs here the green one I actually made the exact same way I made the other ones and then the other sign that's up is from Target now really quickly while I have these books out I wanted to show you a little Dollar Tree hack so I have seen people decorate with books like stacking books all around their house and they use it as decor so I went to the Dollar Tree and found a whole bunch of books that have just the paper sleeves on them and then I'm taking the sleeves off and they're blank so you could use them the way that they are and just stack them or you could even paint them if you wanted them a certain color so I'm going to be using a couple of these books to decorate here in the dining room and then also in our entryway and I paid a dollar and 25 cents for each of those books which is awesome you said my Now we're going to decorate the entryway and I always like to show this because I feel like this is just real life. So for our basket here, we put a bunch of different little balls that the kids used to play with. And yes, they throw balls right here in the entryway all around all of this stuff. My, I'm surprised that this picture frame here hasn't gotten broken yet, but Kaysen, my son is 11 and obsessed with baseball. And then all of his friends are too. So and even Gracie June likes to play this little handball game that they do right here in the entryway. There are soft, they're soft balls, not soft balls, but you know, like soft, squishy balls. And um, so they play with all of those and it's just an easy way for them to clean it up really quick and also for them not to be out all over the place and for people to not see them. So I just put them here in this little basket. And then for the fall, I'm going to actually put some little... Um, faux pumpkins right here on the top as decor and then it looks like we just have little pumpkins filled up in this basket when really they're filled with toys <laughs> Now, while I was in this area, I did decide to go ahead and wipe down the windows here at the front door and then also wipe off the front door and then the baseboards right here. I really need to go outside and clean the front porch, but I just did not have time this day and I knew I was going to get hot and sweaty if I went out there and I needed to finish cleaning in here first. So maybe that'll be in next week's video. Maybe I can get outside and actually clean the front porch and show you guys the faux moms that we put out every year for the fall on our front porch. I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. You tell me you'll stay or take me away. Okay, we are finally in the home stretch. All I have to do now is vacuum and mop the floors. So I'm going to start with vacuuming the rugs here and I'm just pulling out my um, cordless vacuum. This is the Hoover Blade Plus and I love this for just a really quick vacuum or quick cleanups. So I'm going to use this on our rugs and then I'm going to pull out our Tenco iFloor 2 to do the vacuuming and mopping on the hardwood floors. Myself every single day. You said I just need you, 
I don't know what it is you do. I just want you. I just need you. I don't know what it is you do. I just want to love you. I just want to hold you. Just want to be with you till we grow old. Okay, here is my Tenko iFloor 2, aka your new best friend if you hate mopping your floors. Now let me say, I do pull out my O-Cedar Spin Mop and mop the floors occasionally, but with this, I can do all of my vacuuming and mopping at one time, and it just saves me so much time, and it's just so easy on your back. I'm not actually getting a workout, which, I don't know, that could be a bad thing that I'm not getting a workout while I'm that, while mopping, <laughs> but I love this thing, you guys. And if you have a lot of hardwood floors or vinyl floors in your house, then I highly recommend it. They do have an iFloor 3, but I have the iFloor 2. I'm not sure how much better the iFloor 3 is, but I absolutely love this version. And it's on sale right now at Walmart for $124, which is a steal. So if you're interested, I'll have a link for the iFloor 2 down in my description box. The only complaint I've ever heard people say about this machine is that it can get a, a funny smell so I will say you do need to make sure that you keep up on the maintenance every single time I use this I clean out the yucky um, container where all the dirty water goes and then I also clean out clean the brush roll at least once a week by hand in the sink with Dawn Power Wash. So that has seemed to help. I don't usually have a yucky smell, but if I do, then it's probably because I've gone too long without cleaning the brush roll. But this is probably one of the best um, cleaning purchases that I've ever made. Love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for Every single day You set my world on fire You set my world on fire Okay, so while I finish up mopping, I figured I would tell you a few of the things that I love about fall. I know I asked you guys that at the beginning of the video, and that was Ozzy, our cat that just jumped off of the chair, in case you were wondering what that crazy thing was that just went running across the floor. Um, but I asked you guys at the beginning of the video what your favorite things about fall were, so I figured I would tell you mine. Now, first off, I'm more of a summer girl. Summer's my favorite season, but I do love fall. There's lots of things that I love about fall. I love fall decorations. I love football, and if you didn't know, I was actually a cheerleader through college. I cheered for football sidelines, but I also did competition cheer. And then my husband was a football player, and so we met in college. He was a football player. I was a cheerleader. Now, he did see me for the first time on the football field, but I didn't know who he was until we ended up in an art class together. So that was kind of a cool story. And it was definitely a God thing because when he first saw me, he actually told um, his roommate's girlfriend, who was also a cheerleader, to come tell me hey and wanted to know who I was but she never told me and then we ended up in this art class together and actually ended up meeting in person and started hanging out and ended up dating like several months later so it was definitely a god thing but so I guess football season is always so much fun because one we spent so much time at the football field and we have a little bit of a history there and actually this year, my son Kaysen is playing football for the first time. He's in sixth grade, so he started a little bit later, but he's loving it and we're loving getting to go watch him play football. And then of course, we're UGA fans. And then we also cheer for our college, which was Valdosta State. They were two-time national champions while we were there. So we love football. <laughs> now the other typical things that you would think of for fall, like cooler weather or sweaters, boots, things like that, bonfires, all that kind of stuff that you usually see people say they love about fall. Well, that doesn't typically happen where we li live. It's just way too hot here. I'm not going to be wearing sweaters in the fall. That's probably going to happen a little bit later, closer to like, well, I guess it could still be fall, but like towards the end of fall, maybe November-ish. <laughs> but we definitely look forward to all the sports. 
um, getting to hang out with friends and family, Thanksgiving, all of that good stuff. All right, so now the house is all decorated for fall on the inside. I still need to do the outside, so hopefully I can get that done sometime this week and maybe share it in next week's video. Um, I'm not gonna do a whole lot outside this year. I'm just gonna do a few things on the front porch, but I hope you enjoyed today's video and getting to see how I decorated for fall. Remember, if you need links to anything, I'm gonna try to link everything that I used or anything that I can find down in my description box. And if you're in need of even more cleaning motivation, be sure to check out the videos that I leave here on the screen at the end of this video, or check out the playlists that I have on my channel because I have them organized into different categories. So if you're looking for organization type videos, you can click on the organization playlist. If you're looking for decorating, you can click on that one and so on. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. And then also introduce yourself down in the comments so that way we can get to know you as well. I hope you guys have the best week ever and I will see you in next week's video. Bye. Hey y'all and welcome to today's video. It is a whole house clean with me. So I will be getting some cleaning done all over my entire house and I'm just taking you along with me to hopefully give you some cleaning motivation to get some things checked off of your to-do list today as well. I hope you enjoy today's video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know one thing that you're trying to accomplish today down in the comments and let's get to cleaning. There's no going back. No going back, there's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high Okay guys, so we have a lot to do in today's video I'm getting some cleaning done all over my whole house. Some rooms aren't too, too bad, but some rooms are a disaster. Um, I'm also gonna be cleaning up the front door and switching out my wreath on the front door and the faux ferns that are on the front porch with the faux mums that I used last year. So putting a little bit more fall decor out. And then I also got in some really pretty frames. So I can't wait to show you that. And then of course there will be tons of cleaning motivation throughout the video. So. We are starting here in my bedroom. I'm gonna tidy up in here and dust really quick and then we will move on to the master bathroom. Back to your own life. Not living in the past. We're over that. I'm feeling it tonight. Riding on the dizzying high. Back to your own life Not living in the past We're over that 
I'm feeling it tonight. So I got a frame in for my nightstand and I cannot wait to show you guys. I actually got it and put it out later in the video. It was on the next day. So I'm gonna show you that in just a little bit, but it's so cute and it makes my um, nightstand look not so bare. <laughs> now here I'm just pulling out my cleaning supplies. This is my little caddy. I got it years and years ago from Walmart, which I noticed they have a new one. It's a, it's not the same exact one, but it's a similar one. So I'll be sure to link that one in case you're looking for a cleaning caddy. I love this because I use a lot of the same cleaning supplies all around my house. So I can just stick the cleaning supplies in my caddy and I can go from room to room. I can go upstairs, downstairs, and I can actually switch out my products based on what I'm feeling for that week or whatever. So I just love it. It saves me a lot of trips back and forth. into my life such a magic feeling we tore down my walls i wish i could go back to right before you told me i try to change it all but look at us now i could have gone so far it hurts to realize we're parted yeah look at us now this is who we are and I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again All right, we are moving on to the master bathroom now. And if you guys follow me over on Instagram, you've already seen this, but if you don't, I have a new little basket here in my bathroom. And then all of the items that are inside of that basket, I actually got from Walmart. So I linked all that stuff on like to know it, but I love it. I think it looks really cute here, but it also is functional. So it's holding like our toothbrushes, hand soap. I've got a little candle in there, but then those little canisters also hold, um, I have my earrings and stuff on top of that, which is really cool. So it's like a little ring dish. Then those little canisters also open up. So in the top one, I have my makeup remover, little cotton pads. And then in the bottom one, I've got the dental floss sticks. Now I will say the first time I went to take this basket off of my countertop, I realized how flimsy this basket was. I mean, I knew it was flimsy, but it's very flimsy. So I don't know, I might recommend getting another one if you are taking a whole bunch of stuff on and off frequently, but if you're not having to clean a space or move it very often, then it's still a really, really cute tray. It's very affordable, um, but they also have some at Target too that are really cute. And then Walmart has some other ones too, I think, that are a little bit more sturdy. Could have tried much harder, all we have is scars. Said we'd get so high, higher up than heaven. We said we'd reach the stars. But look at us now, could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. And yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same. We're like strangers again, again, again. Strangers again, again, again. Like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again. Started. It's time to get my head up again. You said that you had to. I'll 
try to forget you Just didn't think we'd end up this way Like strangers again All right, we're done with the cleaning caddy in here for today. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do a really quick vacuum. And then I'm gonna do the floors in my bathroom and they were so gross. And I think it's because of like hairspray and deodorant spray, like all that kind of stuff. It just cakes up on our floors. Even though we mop, it just doesn't come off. So um, I've tried really scrubbing with like my O-Cedar Spin Mop. I've also used the Tenko in there, which I kind of figured if the O-Cedar Spin Mop wouldn't get it off, then the Tenko wouldn't. So I bought myself a Shark Steam Mop. It's a very inexpensive one. I got it from Walmart and I was like, surely the steam will help get this stuff off the floors. So I'm gonna show you guys that mop in just a few minutes, but you can see right there on the right side of my floors, you can see it's a little discolored which is mostly where we're standing and spraying stuff. So that's why I assume it's from like hairspray and things like that. But first I'm gonna pull up my ruggable rug. I'm gonna go throw this in the washing machine, get it started. And I always use a little bit of Lysol laundry sanitizer for my rugs and also any of my cleaning cloths, things like that. So that's what I'm using here along with some laundry detergent and some OxyClean. All right, so before we get to the floors, I'm gonna clean the bathtub really quick. And you can see we've got a little bit of grime all around the bottom of the bathtub. So I'm gonna use the soft scrub cleanser with bleach. And I'm just going to scrub this down with my Homet tool, which I got from Amazon. And I didn't realize that I forgot to charge this the last time I used it. And so it didn't last the entire time that I was cleaning, but it got the scrubbing done on the bottom. And then I switched over to my sponge because it died. But if you do not have one of these tools and you have a bad back, I highly, highly recommend it for scrubbing your showers or your bathtubs. I love it so much. Watch me break in your you're falling into me, touch me. Now, I don't really show this area in my bathroom a whole lot because this is the teeny tiny little toilet room within our master bathroom. And it's kind of hard to even like fit my camera in here and get a good angle. But this little um, cabinet I got from Amazon a long time ago. And it just is where we keep like all of our bathroom overflow items and extra toilet paper, things like that. So I wanted to give that a good sanitizing really quick because it's obviously in the same room as our toilet. Okay, here is the shark steam mop that I got. And since I don't plan to use this all over my house, I actually went with a really inexpensive one. This one was $49 at Walmart. And I only plan on using this in like our bathrooms, possibly our laundry room. And honestly, it did such a good job. It's also super lightweight, so I love that. Um, it'll be easy to store. And then all I did was just fill up the water tank, plug it in, and it turns right on. And then you just kind of move it back and forth and it kind of pumps the little lever and starts steaming. So it works really good. But I sped up this part really quick because I went over it so much to get all of it off. Now it did end up coming off, but I'm telling you, it took a while. I was scrubbing for a long time, but I was so happy because like I said, I could not get this off with my O-Cedar Spin Mop or the Tenko. So... I kind of figured that the steam would work, so I am so glad that I got this and that it all came off the floor.
okay, it's actually the next morning and I'm going to get the rest of the house clean. But the first thing I was doing was putting in some fresh towels in our bathroom. And then we were gone the rest of the day. So I didn't have a chance to even put our rug back in here. So I'm putting the rug back in the bathroom as well. And then we have a nice, fresh, clean bathroom. Just watch me break in You falling into me, touch me I swear You would do anything that I want So keep us awake And of course we can't get a new day started without getting some laundry going in the washing machine. So today I am washing our laundry. Um, it's a mix of all of ours. So I'm just getting a load started. I actually ended up doing two loads of laundry on this day but you're only gonna see me throwing one in and then I'm gonna actually fold the rest of the towels that I washed the day before. Now, before it got scorching hot outside, I wanted to hurry up and do the front door. So I'm gonna actually clean the front door. I decided to Swiffer it first because there were lots of spider webs and just all kinds of stuff on the door. So since I was gonna be cleaning it with product, I always use a microfiber cloth for that but I figured dusting first would help save me some time and scrubbing. So we do have a pressure washer and actually we just bought a new one. We got an electric one because our gas one the tank broke or had a leak or something and was not fixable. So we ended up getting an electric pressure washer but Chance still has to show me how to use it. He told me he's gonna give me an in-service on it so I can start pressure washing our house and our porch and all that kind of stuff if I want to. But we don't typically pressure wash our front door because it is stained and it could take the stain off the front door. But y'all will have to let me know if you have a stained front door, if you pressure wash it. I know that you can turn down the pressure on it. So I need to just play around with it and see if that's possible because if I could do that, that would definitely be a lot easier um, when it comes to cleaning the front door than doing it all by hand. So I promise you I'm going to be pulling that thing out very soon and learning how to use it so that way I can clean the walls of our front porch and also like the concrete and everything. Okay, I'm finally putting up our fall wreath and I actually got this wreath from Kirkland's several years ago. So I've been using the same one for like three or four years now. And then these are the faux ferns that I did a few months ago. And so I'm just gonna replace them with some faux moms that I got off of the QVC website last year. I love these things. Um, I didn't end up having any other pots. So I might have to go to Walmart or somewhere to get a couple new pots for the other ones. So for right now, I'm just gonna do these two and I think it looks really cute. It's super simple, but I definitely wanna use some of the orange ones because they're so pretty. So I'm gonna go get some new pots and put some more out here just to add a little bit more color. But I love the fact that these are gonna last all fall and I'm not gonna kill them. And they actually look really real at the same time. All right, so now I got in some frames from FrameBridge. I ordered three different ones. Two of them are for our dining room, and then one is for the nightstand that I was telling you about earlier, but they all turned out so good, and it was super easy to order. But I just picked some of our favorites, and then FrameBridge actually custom framed these for me, shipped them straight to my door, and they were all ready to hang. And then the two bamboo frames that came from the gallery wall section, actually came with a life-size hanging guide to make installing my gallery wall super easy, which I only had two frames, but it still, it made it so easy because I could see exactly where I wanted to hang them and then exactly where to put the nails in and everything. And then if you go to framebridge.com and use my code AmyDarley, you can actually get an additional 15% off of your first order. So again, that code is AmyDarley for 15% off your FrameBridge order. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna hang these up here and I started cutting this paper just because it was so big and my wall wasn't that wide, but be sure you don't cut off any of the lines. I almost cut off the level line <laughs> and that would have been bad because then I wouldn't have been able to level it out very well. <laughs> Okay, I will say these frames look even prettier in person than they even did on the website. I absolutely love them. I feel like this is the perfect place for them and I just love the way that this turned out. Now here on my nightstand, I'm gonna put that other little picture frame and I got these books from Dollar Tree. I shared that in my last video when I was doing all the fall decorating. So I'm just gonna put these little books here and I've got my hatch alarm clock. Now I have my little picture frame and a candle and then I just hid my charger behind my um, alarm clock, but it's there. <laughs> Now I decided to just go ahead and use a couple of those other books from the Dollar Tree to put over here on Chance's nightstand. It's super simple, super manly, <laughs> and I feel like, you know, he, he doesn't want a whole bunch of stuff on his nightstand, so I decided just to keep it simple. All right, let's start cleaning the rest of the house. So I just did the floors yesterday, so I don't have to worry about do, um, like mopping our hardwood floors. However, we do have some things that are just kind of tossed around the house. That's just what happens after school and after getting home from all the activities. We're all lazy and just throw things wherever. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to tidy up in here and then I don't have a whole lot to do in the kitchen because we did eat out the night before as well. We had a football game, got home late, and so we ended up just picking up something on the way home which is nice because I didn't have a messy stove to clean up or a bunch of dishes, but I did have some stuff in the dishwasher, so I'll put that away, those are clean, and then I'll reload the dishwasher. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, under the stars. We can do what we like, like.
Okay, I'm curious. What is one cleaning task that you could do every single day? Like it does not bother you to clean it and you would be fine cleaning it every single day. I think for me, I'd probably say my kitchen sink. I also love making my bed, but I don't think that that really counts as cleaning, probably more tidying. But I think if I had to choose one cleaning task that I could do every single day, it would definitely be cleaning my sink. And do you guys use a scrub daddy? I love my scrub daddies. Of course, they're a little bit more expensive than all the other sponges that I use, but I do feel like they last a whole lot longer. They do a really, really good job. And I also saw that they have like the seasonal sponges, which I've never been able to really find many in store. So I'm gonna have to order some online because I saw like a pumpkin one the other day online and I thought it was really cute. Let's do a poll down in the comments. What do you think about the Scrub Daddy? Do you think it's the best sponge ever or do you think they're overrated? Okay, so now the downstairs is all nice and clean. So I'm heading upstairs and I'm gonna tidy up in the kids' bedrooms and also in our playroom. Now, this is another thing that I've talked about a lot here on my channel and some people hate it, some people are for it. <laughs> And I don't know, it's just what works for us. But I honestly do not make my kids make their beds in the mornings during the school week. Now my kids have the Betty's bedding, which they've had for like three years now. And it does take them like two seconds to make up their beds because they just zip them up. You just saw me do it with Kaysen's bed here. Um, but they do have to be up super duper early on schools, school days that is. Um, we have to leave our house by about 7.05. We actually have a longer drive. They're at a new school this year. So it takes us about 25 minutes to get there. And it's still the same, about the same time we leave as we did in the previous years because they start a little bit later. But because of traffic and all of that, we have to leave our house by 7.05. And also my kids play sports. So a lot of times they're not always in bed by the time we would like them to be in bed at night. So I seriously let them sleep until the last possible minute. They get up at 6.30 and we are out of the house by 7.05 in the mornings. So I do not make them make their beds in the mornings on the weekdays. However, on the weekends, that's part of their morning routine. Also during the summer, that is part of their morning routine because they sleep a little bit later. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be like, goodness, just make them wake up five minutes earlier to make their beds. But it's just not something I wanna battle with in the morning. Um, we have so many other things that we're trying to get done and making their beds when nobody's even going to be up in their rooms at all during the day is just not one of the battles that I'm worried about. And honestly, in a few years, they're going to be starting school even later. So on those days, maybe I'll start making them get up a little bit earlier and make their beds. I don't know. We'll see when that time comes. <laughs>
Okay, we are moving into the playroom, and even though this looks like a disaster, it actually wasn't too bad. You guys have probably seen it way worse in here. Um, we had some blankets that just need to be stuffed back into this little bean bag. Gracie June was like going through it the other day. We went to the movies and she was trying to find a blanket and it looks like she just didn't close it back up. But, um, super easy. We keep all of our little throw blankets in there. And then I decided to put this one out on the couch. And then Gracie June also had a bunch of teeny tiny little toys all over the floor of there. But all I do is take a basket and I throw them all in there. They're not organized by any means. They're just thrown in these baskets. And then that way, you know, I can just be like, oh, I threw all the stuff in this basket. You can go look through it if you need to find anything. And then I can vacuum the floor. Now I'm sure that she has like the smallest little toys. So I'm sure that I vacuum up some of her toys and don't even know it. But I'm sure that she doesn't even know it either. <laughs> she has so many. Now it's time to vacuum the upstairs and then I'll be done with all of the cleaning upstairs. And I'm sure I'll get questions, but this is the Innova vacuum that I got from Walmart several months ago. I've been using it. It's a lot bigger than my Shark Uplight. Um, so it is a little bit heavier to push and pull, but it's very powerful. It does a really, really good job. It also has a bigger canister, which I love because I can vacuum a few more rooms without having to empty it. Um, and then it also has the anti wrap brush roll. So it like cuts like any hair or whatever that you suck up in there. It doesn't get all wrapped around the brush roll. It cuts it off and keeps it nice and clean. So that's awesome because I hate having to deal with, um, all the brush hair getting stuck around the brush roll of a vacuum my cordless vacuum gets so bad so quick so I do love that feature on here which the shark uplight also has so that was one thing that I was like I have to have on every single vacuum from now on especially a heavy-duty one All 
right, so all the cleaning's done. The last thing I'm gonna do is quickly fold some laundry. I've just got some white towels and then I think a few socks and things like that got kind of thrown into this load. But I'm gonna fold all this stuff really quick and then I will be done cleaning for the day and it'll almost be time for me to get my kiddos. Now, really quickly, if you are still here at the end of this video, will you do me a favor and leave me a sunshine emoji or the word sunshine down in the comments so I know that you're still here and still watching. I just love to see who makes it through to the end of the video. And also, if you have any video requests or anything that you would like to see me clean or a recipe that you're looking for or something like that that you wanna see in an upcoming video I'm doing, all the planning for the next few months trying to make sure i have everything planned out um, and i give you guys what you want to see so y'all let me know if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see here on my channel so i can get that filmed for you all right so let's do a quick little clean house tour as i show you all the clean spaces from today i hope you guys enjoyed today's video though and that it gave you tons and tons of cleaning motivation if you need even more cleaning motivation though, I've got you. I've got tons of videos on my channel. Also, I have playlists. So if you're looking for a specific type of video, like an organization video or deep cleaning, be sure to go check out all of the playlists that I have. Um, and then if you did enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And if you're new here, be sure to say hey down in the comments and introduce yourself. Just tell us a little bit about you so that way we can get to know you. And I hope you guys have an amazing week, and I will see you in next week's video. Bye. And I can't fall asleep because I'm not tired. I'm thinking about the days we used to shine when we were young. I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired I can hear the raindrops falling It's cold outside And I kind of feel like calling But it's too late now I just miss you I just miss you such a constellation right no you'd agree